Hello all and welcome to the channel. Welcome back to Stone Valley 2X. As always, I was running around doing a little bit of cleaning up after the last episode. I do that before I start the next one, just so I can kind of get a lay of the land, see what we did, what we need to do. And I found this guy just sitting there in the middle of the road with 37,000 liters of canola. So we need to go drop this in the silo, first of all. Then what do we need to do? Let's, uh, let's take a quick gander at the map here so six seven and eight or grass they are ready to go three is wheat it is also ready to go we have corn in one and 30 we have soybeans and everything is ready to go except for field two which we have our clover in there but it needs wait where is it it needs lime so i think that is the first thing we should do is get two limed up, get it squared off, ready to go. That way uh, we don't take any chance on it flipping into a uh, ready to harvest state because it has been my experience that clover, it, uh, it matures extremely quickly. You blink and you missed it and there it is. We do not want that. We don't want to uh, take away from our the amount of finished crop we get from it we need all of the clover silage that we can get and that is everything in that field will be turned into clover silage so what i want to do first is that is to get to field two limed up then i think we're going to start field three there we go and see about getting that wheat harvested every bit of the wheat is going to go into a silo for the animals and the hay we are going to stick the hay everywhere in every orifice and every little animal pen that will take it fill up our silos and then we will sell did i say hay i meant straw sorry i do that quite frequently all the straw we're not going to bale it we're going to do it all loose there's no sense in baling it we've got silos for it it sells for the exact same amount whether it's a bale or whether it's loose let's just park this guy right over here I, we i know we do not need any lime in the lime spreader so let's jump over there it is let's get this guy right here rocking let's get our butt right on in here i can't remember how wide our spreader is let's back up so we can see Make sure we get the edge here. Now this looks like it's a decent sized field for sure. And we go at a blazing 12 miles an hour, which isn't too bad. It's better than six or seven, that is for sure. We will definitely be using some of our lime, which is, uh, which is very nice. I wanna get at least one of these trailers gone. Let's get it sent back. We don't need it. I am definitely going to be buying a different tractor today. We're going to be swapping out the Case 340, I believe. And getting us something a little bit different. It's going to have a, a little bit of a bump in horsepower. I can't really... I think what the... I think the 340 had... 400 didn't it let's see now I got I got to find out what did the 340 have in there what does it have in there it has 409 so we're gonna be bumping it up just a little bit and it is not going to be a case it is going to be something different so we shall see what we end up with in the meantime, I am going to just zip around this guy. And I don't know, we might end up putting a worker on this. Headlands are done. We are rocking ourselves a helper here. Now, I toyed with doing a, a time lapse, doing a quick speedy on this. Now, I wouldn't do the whole field, that's for sure, because that would, even as a speedy, it would take a while but I don't tend to do a whole bunch of speedies 
what do you guys think? Do you like them or do you not like them? I don't like them in large doses. I don't mind doing some smaller ones, maybe a minute, minute and a half, something like that. I don't want to run like a five minute speedy. But uh, let me know, what do you guys think? Do you want more speedies or do you like a, a fewer the better? Just a quick question. So let's, uh, we got that guy rocking. Is, is he got, what's he doing? Oh, well, I thought I had a helper going, but evidently I just had my crew set. I don't know. Okay. Let's see if we can do a better job on this one. And are we rocking? Okay. Set it on a helper. There we go. This guy right here. Let's start the engine. Let's put that pipe away. So what do we need to do? We need to hop on field three. So I think I'm going to go ahead and on the right side of field three, I'll run two headlands. And then I'll run two headlands on the left side. Then I will probably have to run one down the, across the top. At least get that done. Then we can put a helper on there. And they can start jamming, getting it done. And we will zip down the... Do this little outcropping at the bottom and run our headlands across there. But we definitely need to get it set up first so that they can go ahead and run the way they need to run. Let's turn this guy around. Try not to get hit by any traffic. We seem a little bit close. A little personal space would be good. There we go. Now, of course, I've never seen traffic so slow. Uh oh, I hope I don't uh, hope I don't hit you. Oh, sorry. Oopsie. <laughs> All right, we are going to see if we can uh work our way. Oh, I was going a tad bit too fast. There we go. Oh, look at that. I am not getting that through there, am I? So I guess I am going to have to trailer this thing. You are going to have to wait there. Hey, hey, hey. Scoot it up just a little bit. There we zip it. You've got nothing else to do anyway. All he does is go around in circles. And he's in a big fat hurry to do so. <laughs> so I'm going to grab this guy. And we're going to zip over and see if we can get our headlands started at least. Now, last episode I did a what I thought was a very large alfalfa silage and it turned out where I did not I didn't even get half because I had like 1.7 million liters of alfalfa in the fermenting silo not the fermenting silo but the uh, uh, silage pit Whew, I'll get it straight and I ended up with less than 600,000 liters of silage now I never remember or I don't remember anyway. A time where I've lost that much silage. Okay, hold up now. Let's enable straw swab. There we go. So I am going to, at some point in time, I don't know if I'll do it uh, in an episode or if I'll just do it and let you guys know, but I'm going to do some silage with some different products different crops and see if I lose that much I don't know if it was the alfalfa I don't know if it was using the forage harvester I am not really sure how you lose like two-thirds of your product I would imagine you lose some for sure I get that but I wouldn't think you would lose that much so I'll do an experiment and we will see if that is the same way for everything, if it's just that uh, alfalfa, if it was just the implement I use to harvest it, we need to get to the bottom and see if maybe that's just the normal. Maybe I just never noticed before. If you've ran across that or you've experienced it, let me know. Any help would be, uh, as always, greatly appreciated. Always, always. All right, slow down here, slow down. There we go. Back it up. Try to make this a little bit neat anyway. It won't really matter too much when we go to pick up. 
Now we should end up with just stupid amounts of straw off of this. And to be honest, I am kind of hoping it makes us a little bit of money. Because our money, it looks like we're sitting pretty good, but we have not made money for quite some time. It has been a lose, lose, just watching the money drop. Hey, there's our worker going at it like they're supposed to. Well, they are doing uh, pretty good. They are making short work out of that. Maybe I could have time-lapsed that guy. Uh, I guess. Uh, live and learn, as they say. That's what, the, that's what it's all about. So let me get our headlands done, and then we'll go grab ourselves a worker, and we will, uh, we will get this field done. And we've got at least the top, the bottom, well, the top and the two sides, I guess. It just depends on how you look at it. Let's scoot this guy over here, and let's uh, put that on a worker. There we go. Now, I see the helper H is done. Let's uh, zip over here. Well, by golly, they didn't do too bad. A couple little specks here and there. Let's zoom on in. Enter that. Let's go see if we can find our little spots. Now, I had set some goals for this farm, so when we knew we beat them, when we beat the farm, now, that being said, I set some pretty lofty goals as I really st stood back and assessed <laughs> To try to get, because uh, every every crop we got, especially every in-game crop, we can hold like uh, over a million liters, which is considerable. Let's see, where are we at? There it is. Okay. So it is going to take a little bit of effort to start getting things filled up, and it's going to take some money. So that looks like maybe or not. Well, I guess we got it, didn't we? Very nice. So, as, let's take a quick look. Now, I mean, everything takes, uh, well, over a million liters. We have a lot of work to do. The only thing we got maxed out is we have sugar beets. Those are maxed out. Uh, what else? Grass. We've got grass maxed out. Straw. That's good. Hay is not. Uh, carrots, carrots are not, how, man, carrots, we can hold, how come we can hold like 100,000 liters less of carrots than we can of other things, but, hmm, carrots, we can hold an odd number of carrots and an odd number of onions, and I'm not really sure, evidently one of the silos maybe doesn't take carrots, but everything, the other silos all do, I guess, I don't know, Whew. It's, a, it's above my pay grade, I guess. <laughs> we'll just go with what we got. So let's go get this guy dropped off. And then we need to grab our other harvester. And we need to run right down the side here. And uh, get this little headland done. Well, I guess we found one of the weaknesses for the sin track. Is a high center of gravity. No, we're just going to... I think we're just going to kind of hang around here. and Oh, it wanted to flop like a fish. Would you stop hitting the trailer? Now, if I wanted it to hit that trailer, it wouldn't touch it. You know how that works. Okay. I don't have the... Oh, oh, there we are. I do not have the automatic upright mod. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, it has a full tank. I didn't even see that they were full. Any hoot before I was so rudely interrupted by his my poor poor driving. No, oh, I was leaning, I was pushing the joystick, and I was leaning. Is the workers once they get rocking heading straight down this big open field, they should have no problem getting this thing pounded out actually fairly quick. Let's not let's not flip that over, let's not do it. Well, they go at a really good pace. They hold, I think it's 75,000 liters of crop, which is pretty good. Okay, let's just temporarily set this guy 
right over here. Shut the engine off. Let's hop out of there. So we're going to... Hey, hey, hey. Simmer down. Let's run over here and grab our other harvester. And we'll grab the other header. And I will meet you in the field. Alrighty. Let's drop this guy down here. And I think what we need to do is put a worker on this. Are they going straight? No, they are not going straight. Back up there, Junior. Well, I'm glad I didn't just walk away because our straw swath is not on either. And that would have stunk big time to walk away from that. There we go. Now, are we good to go? Are we straight? Are we good? Let's not get too big of a hurry. I think we're rocking and go. There we go. So helper is rocking. Now we need to turn off that and we need to get over there to our other helper and see about getting them unloaded. We need to figure out what truck we're going to use. I think we're going to use the semi. So let's just go ahead and jump over there and see if we can get her going. I was thinking about maybe getting a, uh, a trailer that held a little bit more. But I think this one is going to do just fine. I am definitely thinking to reach our goals and beat this map, to do it in a timely manner, as I was taught as a young man, you must do the job right, but you also need to do it in a timely manner. Look at that guy. Man, goodness, he is moving on. Okay. Oh, so busy we almost crash. Okay. Let's go here, let the worker uh, go, go take a quick break, a little mini break as we call it. There it is, so we're going to dump this guy out, but I am going to have to maybe implore a few tactics as far as different pieces of machinery that go above and beyond what they were intended to do, like the, like, well, like this harvester for one. It's not supposed to hold 75,000 liters, but yet, here we are, hold 75,000 liters. So that means that this truck is not going to keep up. We need a different trailer. Now, I have, I don't have any modded semi-trailers, but I do have a few. Now, I have, let's see, is that one of them? It's so hard to remember. That does 12. Now, I had... Some uh, the grain containers that go with the hook lift. We also have like this guy, the Crampy, the BB740. It holds. Wait, is that the one? One of these holds a ridiculous amount. Which one is it? It's not that one. Is it the this one? Now I have lost it. Oh, this is the one. It holds 225,000 liters. So that is what I was thinking right there. And I have, like I said, I have a couple others. Nothing. Well, that guy's pretty good. I had one that went on a hook lift that I thought held considerable amount as well. But I did not seem to see it. And I mean, the hook lift containers are cheap. 10 grand and you can get that thing. Maybe that was it, the 4,500 or 45,000 liters. I think it is. I think that's the one I was thinking of. That's the biggest trailer I got is the 225,000 liter trailer. And I think that we, we need to get this guy. It holds everything. It's a bulk trailer, so we can hold anything and everything. The only downside to this, uh, the big body 900S, is that I did not modify how much weight it says, uh, or how much weight it thinks it's carrying. So when I have 225,000 liters, it pulls like it carries 225,000 liters. Well, I guess we don't even have to up it, do we? Wheel brand. Well, wheel setup. What's that? Oh, we can do wides. I do like the wides. I always like the wides. So main color. Are we gonna keep it? Are we gonna keep it red? 
or do we want to go something a little different? Because so I'm going to be pulling away from Case. So I don't know. Oh, decisions. I ah, see, I don't really like. I mean, I do. I like the black. It looks pretty good. But see that shiny. Oh, that's like a uh, galvanized metal look. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nah, yeah, that doesn't go with anything. Let's go. Let's go with Onyx. I think. Well, all right. There we go. I'd like a flat black. If I could get a flat black, I think that would be better. Yeah, that's a little different. That adds it up. We're going to take it. We're just going to lease it so nothing's permanent anyway. If I decide we don't like it, we'll just get rid of that sucker. Not that one, not that one, this one. I think we need the big boy for this trailer. Back up a wee bit. There we are. So I'm going to grab this guy, and we're just going to zip over and see about getting helper number two emptied out. I want this guy right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip around. Whoa, I might as well grab this, this while I am here. See if we can try to clean up a little bit of this. Oh, this is going to make a mess, though. I knew it would. No. Oh, I can't harvest corn anyway. Okay, I about had a heart attack. I'm like, no, don't do that. Oh, never mind. There we go. So we're going to clean this up. Oh, try to anyway. Bad driving 101. Our helper is nearly full. My goodness, they just don't give us much time, do they? Where's he at? Is he going to make it back around? We'll have to see. Because what would be nice is if they made it back around here. And then we could just go ahead and drive it over and dump it in the trailer that's parked right there. That sounds sounds legit. Sounds reasonable. They probably will not make it back down to this end of the field. But we can uh, we can hope. We can hope and wish and see see how it goes. Let's go ahead. I'm going to put a worker right there, and we'll see how they do. Let's... Not that guy. I wish those uh, loading wagons there took regular crops. Come on, baby. You can do it. But they do not. Uh-oh. I'm on the wrong side of the field there. I need to get over on the other side. That's a funny little sound. A little squeaky, isn't it? I don't know if you can hear that or not. Huh. Doesn't uh, It doesn't sound like it should be that way. I would say something needed a little bit of uh, grease or lubed up somehow. Are you going to tell me that guy's going to make it? Really? Come on, stop right here. That'd be great. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> All right. Let's fire that guy. Let's get over here. And see. Come on. You can do it, man. You can do it. Yeah, that was it. That was pretty good. I couldn't have planned it any better than that. So let's zip up here. Let's drop another load in here. We should be able to empty this all the way out now. Okay, that is going to take him... Wow, my tractor's not liking it. It's kind of wiggling a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. A little nervous twitch. Never hurt anyone. So we're just going to let this guy empty out here. And uh, we will wait and then uh, get her back to work. I needed to jump over here. The worker was all cattywampus and not knowing what they were doing. I have to say, this is the best way for me. This is the best way to play the game. Just go, 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 go. Trying to keep up, running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Trying to keep the workers happy. Trying to get yourself doing something. Well, that was cute. 
I'm sure that looks really good, doesn't it? That's swell. You know, I really do like to leave these fields looking pretty if I can. But then I do something, is it? Oh, really? I can get all of it, but that. Let's back up and get that guy. And then I do stuff like that. What happens, for me anyway, it's a good excuse here. We've got excuse. Excuse one out of a million is I get so used to running crops, I guess I can't get it all anyway. Crops with no headland that I just don't think about it as I'm driving around. And well, then you end up with really sloppy lines. And that is how it goes. That looks like they're still dumping. That's all right. Now that we've got that, back it up here. Let's turn. See about getting this guy rocking and rolling right down here. There we go. You ready there, Freddy? Let's scoot over just a wee bit. And it's on the helper. So now, go back there. Perfect timing. Look at that. We're down to 11%. Trailer is still shaking away. It's a little bit, I don't know. Maybe it had too much coffee this morning. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's almost 6 o'clock. Come on, baby. Get her done. Get her done. Get her done. And 1%. And we are empty. Booyah. Start the engine. That's up. Oh, I don't know what I was doing. There we go. Put the worker right back here. They should make short work out of the rest of this. They might need to be emptied one more time before this is done. Which is just fine. The more the merrier. And it is now all on the worker. Do it and do it right. With that, I think we are going to check on our trailer and let's see how we're doing. Not that trailer, this trailer. So we got 150,000 liters. Ooh, I don't. I think we're going to have to empty it. So I say, okay, you done? Simmer down, man. Simmer down. Let's go. All right. Let's go ahead and empty this slowly. We're going to go very slowly. I think I might need a little bit more oomph. Well, this tractor's got like 750 horsepower. My goodness. So we're going to slowly drive over here and get this emptied out. And that should take us the rest of the way till this is all done. I want to go ahead and zip in here and give this guy a quick repair since we are here. Right? That should do. And while I'm at it, I think we're going to change the tire setup. So let's repair that guy. All right. Customize. So I don't want the duels anymore. Can I? Wait. There we go. What do we got? I don't mind duels. So, row track. I don't think I really want that. You know, I don't know. Some. I think the tracks are cool, but at the same time, I don't know that I really like them. Wheel weights. I like the way the wheel weights work. Now, Trailer Borg is only the row crops, I see. Right? Yes. Well, I don't really... I don't want the row crops. So I guess we're going to go Michelin, which is odd. I don't normally go Michelin. So let's go wheel weights. Let's do that. There's no wides with weights or nothing, huh? Hey. Attachers, quick hitch, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so this thing is only got... Oh, there it is. 735. That's what we want right there. Okay. So I obviously have done some customizations to this since it goes at a pretty good clip and it has a pretty good chunk of horsepower. We will see if this has any better traction. That seemed really quite loud. 
Helper G has completed their task. I think we need to get our butt over there and complete our task. This guy had to zip down here and empty this one out. And I thought while we're here, we will go ahead and just clean up this end and then we don't have to worry about it anymore. And we have one stripe right down the middle. That should work out pretty good because we'll send the helper all the way down there. And when he finishes, in theory, when they finish their job, whoa, Nelly. They will be down at the other end of the field and we will be able to clean it up as well. So off and running there, guy. We have helper number two sitting over there waiting for us he is full and can do nothing until we arrive we've got a little cleanup to do down here but nothing uh, too major major overall i think it was a pretty successful harvest we still have a helper j over there they're emptying out they will take a uh, another few passes to get that done we're gonna just zip around, make sure we've got everything that we can cleaned up, picked up, looking good. And then what I'm probably gonna do is I'll empty this guy and we will go ahead and take them over to field 30 while worker J is finishing up this one. There we go. Pipe that thing out. They should still be unloading. It takes them a little while to get unloaded, for sure. One of these days, I may think about it and uh, go in and adjust the unloading speed. But as of for right now, that is not very high on my priority list. There we go. Perfect. Well, I was down here trying to clean this up. Going to run a quick headland so they don't uh, have any issues. And do you see what the little helpers had to do? They just poured it all the way across the road. I just watched that tractor drive over it. And it I just struck me as funny. I didn't even do it. So if I did it, then that might not be as funny. But I didn't do it. I, uh, my helpers did. And, uh, sometimes you just can't control what these guys do. Or girls, for that matter. You definitely can't control what the girls do. Forget that. I gave that stuff up a long time ago. Okay, so we're just going to do this a little bit. And then I need to take it right back down there where they ended up. Are you done? You done? Okay. And we'll drop them off, let them finish this. And I think we are just about ready to grab a loading wagon and see about trying to get this thing empty, which we need to hurry up. It is almost 7 o'clock right now, which means that our day is almost over. You ready? Oh, and you missed it. Corn found it. All right. We're going to let the worker do what the worker does. I think we are ready to fire this bad boy up. So let's bring that out. Let's lower that down. Turn it on. There we go. And the good thing about this is it does not care if it's messy or if it is not messy. Now here's the big question. How much do you think we're going to get off of this field? I mean, I'm thinking we've already hit almost 50,000 liters just there. I think we're going to get like 600,000 liters. That is my guess. 650. Let's do 650. And we will see. I, you know, I'm always going to be wrong. Shoot, we are over 100,000 now. So I think we are going to have ourselves a little bit of straw. Which is, which is good because we can sell some of the excess straw. And then that means that we will have a little bit of cash added to our bank account. And we need all the dang cash that we can get. I also think that we can sell 
a little bit of milk. Let's take a quick look. I don't even know. Do we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Pigs are at 278. Cows, and those are sheep. Those are sheep. So we are at 36,000 liters of milk, which means we can definitely take that and sell it. Sweet. So we can get that done. That'll bring in a little bit more cash. I have no idea how much money we... Well, I don't know how much money... Uh, hey, a straw. Straw is selling for. Sheesh, you'd think I'd get that straight by now. But we will find out that when the time comes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of zip up and down this field and see if we can get this collected. Man, those guys fly, don't they? Which way you going, man? Which way you going? All right, that's fine. That is just fine. So there we go. Let me just kick back and see about getting this knocked out. Well, I think I was a tad bit off in my guesstimation since we are now at 1,330,000 liters. Whoopsie. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's not something I'm good at, evidently. Let's drive over here, and it told me that our helper was done, but I did see that they had one more row they needed to get done. We should be able to go ahead and get them rocking on that, and that should get us finished up before dark. So let's see. Is he just sitting? Oh, that's the wrong one. Here we go. Now, why is that done? I don't know. Evidently, the worker didn't want to look behind him. Come on, back up there, Junior. So we got, what, 28,000 liters in here? Not too shabby. Drop it down. And uh, let's just set the worker rocking and rolling. We should be good. Right, start the engine. Go. So we, we are going to end up with uh, substantial more, more than double of what I guessed. So... I guess uh, we know what my skill set isn't, that's for sure. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Get back here. Now it says, are they down here already? By golly, they are down here already, aren't they? How about if we turn that on? Is that a little better? There we go. It should not take us long to go ahead and knock this guy out. And then we will uh, see about, well, see about maybe selling some milk or sleeping through the night. We will need to decide. Now, we should get some money off of this. I don't expect to get a whole bunch. It is just straw. But hopefully, wait. I am very confused. I, I harvested all of that silage. We took all of that silage and put it into... Oh, I am really confused. Because I know I saved the game. I'm not sure... Uh-oh, I must have screwed something up. <laughs> because last episode, I harvested all of that silage and we put it in there. That's what... Uh, big chunk of the video was based on so now I'm a little confused we'll do it a little differently what I'll actually do this time is I will use this loading wagon and we can pick up that silage using this loading wagon there we go now I don't think the sheep take any straw do they uh, no they do not take straw so I am not sure what the heck happened. Obviously, I I will take full responsibility for it, obviously. Who else am I going to blame? I think it was Bessie, this cow right here. It was their fault. Either way, I suppose it, when it's all shake it's out, it will all be the same. I was just a little confused as to how that happened. I don't know. I must have not saved or... Obviously, that's what it is. Let's go see if how much we can give the pigs. And then we need to figure out... Well, let's figure out right now while we're on our way. What are we getting for straw? 
and where is the best place? It looks like, oh, and straw is dropping. So we will not sell straw until tomorrow. So how much do the pigs need? They do not need very much. Even when straw is up, I do not think we're going to get very much money out of it. Looks like our manure is doing good. We are actually maybe going to start making some money. There we go. There it is. Let's just set the, that engine off. Let's jump. Not that one. Uh, this is the guy we want. Start that bad boy up. Okay, you can stop. Even with different tires, it doesn't matter. Oh, look at that. I missed it. What a loser. Even with different tires, she still has a little shaking problem. But that's okay. So let's get up here. Let's dump this one out. And then let's go find out how much crop we actually got off of the field. Well, we ended up with another 153,000 liters. I think that's uh, that's quite good. So I know we ended up with at least 300,000. So we had 70,000 liters in there. What did we end up with? Uh, let's scroll on over. Not there, not there, not there. So we are looking for wheat. 444,000 liters. So you'd have to take 70 off of that. Oh my goodness, you got to do math. So what is that? Does that be a four? That would be like 350,000 liters, I think. Somewhere in there, 350 something. Don't, uh, don't take any points off for bad math skills. I can only do what my little brain can do. So we did pretty darn good for today. I think I'm going to shut it off right there. And I think we are going to call it a night. So let's just call it a night, get out of here, let's go in here, get ourselves some shut-eye, and get a nice start bright and early in the morning. Alright, Rover, are you ready? Go fetch! Our, the ball just <laughs> reappears right here. I guess there's not much uh, fun in playing uh, fetch now, is there, puppy dog? Yeah, that's right, good dog, Rover. Well, good morning! So let's see, did our straw go up in price at all? And straw is, no, it did not go up in price at all. That's for sure. What about milk? Milk, 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 milk. How are we doing for milk? We are tanking. Well, what is it? The North Cell Point is doing 14. My goodness, none of it's looking really good. I don't know what a good, to be honest, I don't know what a good price is for milk, but everything is tanking right now. That is no bueno, no good at all. First thing, let's go ahead, I'm sure, our cows, there are, are not cows, our pigs. So we need to go ahead, we'll jump in, we'll sell those like right now, and then maybe some prices will go up. We are looking, how much milk are we looking at now? Oh, we are so close to two trips. We will get a second trip out of it before this in-game day is out anyway. Sheep are up to 158. Very nice. Cows uh, going slow. Well, they are uh, reproducing at uh, four and three quarters of an hour now. Very nice. Getting better all the time. So let's go grab our rig, grab our uh, animal trailer and see about getting some pigs sold pig pen is all cleaned up let's hop on in and see about getting ourselves a few little piggy pigs off to market there we go confirm my uh, my hometown in central illinois used to have a hog processing plant there still do it used to be an oscar meyer and then xl corporation purchased it from Oscar Mayer it was most of my growing up years child years there was the Oscar Mayer plan out there majority of the town worked there for sure sorry to see him leave okay let's get her butt down here and get these sold now I do have to say living 
where there is a uh, hog processing plant is not really uh, all it's cracked up to be. When the wind is blowing the wrong direction, the whole town, you can smell that there's a hog processing plant on the outskirts of town. It is a, it's not pleasurable, we'll say. It is not a good smell. That is a fact. But what are you going to do? People need to work. People need to eat. So you do what you... Oh, it doesn't mean that people know how to drive. All right, so let's get these sold. Now, I think I'm going to forego buying cows today and really the only reason is is because i'm trying to save a little bit of cash right now our cash is draining we are going to buy a new tractor and that is going to take just a wee bit of cash confirm so let's go ahead get this back that job is done i think i want to go ahead and take the case 340 take it to the store and let's see about selling it and buying ourselves a new tractor. Alrighty, and here we are. Let's get on out and repair. I do want to repair. Value is 124, almost 125,000. Okay, that was tough. Now, this is, look at that, we're back up to 700,000. This could have been the a day that we made a profit, but we are going to take care of that right now. So I had a suggestion for from a viewer that wanted a specific tractor, and nobody else said anything, so by golly, that's what we're going to go with. And I think we're going to go with the 8R series for 299000 so front weight don't really care we don't mud guards well we'll get to that engine setup we definitely want the bigger engine so we're looking at 650 very nice wheel setup and i don't know if you get this tractor how can you go anything other than that i mean look at that thing just looks like a little racer it i mean nothing else those come on really who would do that even those they're not bad but those then you put the weights on i do understand that the weights don't really do anything now do we want mud guards oh i think it just kind of adds to the look that thing just looks short and just ridiculously good so there we go we're gonna buy it there goes our profit just like that now we're down to four hundred thousand dollars oh oh it hurts it hurts it hurts and here we are there we go so we're rocking now all right i think this little guy does pretty good it's not super super fast to be honest i thought it was going to be just a wee bit faster but that being said can i zip through this field i can look at that i think this will get us where we need to go so let's go a uh, haul butt right back down to the farm now i hope nobody's uh, upset but we're not switching to all john deere we're not going to switch to all keep it all case we are just going to go with whatever tractors that are going to do the job that we want. It was just time for a change. And Matthew had said that uh, he wanted either the 8R or the 9R. And, well, here we are with the 8R. Oh, that's, uh, this works because this is uh, alfalfa, I believe. It's like grass. We can drive through it. No harm, no foul. So I will see you in just a minute. Well, our wool trailer is full. I guess that is something we have gone through almost the entire day just trying to get our prices to go up. Would you stop whatever that thing is hitting? It needs to stop it. There we go. So now where? I think it said the sell point 150, didn't it? Wool is the sell point 150. Good for us. It is close. 
let's go get this sold and then we will see what we need to do to get some milk sold maybe get that straw sold that would be awesome one or the other alrighty this is where we see ooh, turn baby turn 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 how we did and there it goes there it go oh is it gonna sell oh it just has to empty slowly I see I get it doesn't just all go blink blink which I, I kind of like that it's just it's a little bit more uh, satisfying I think than everything just disappearing disappearing <laughs> Okay, hey man, what in the world? Back up just a little bit now. It is still going. I didn't even see how many liters we had. But obviously it was pretty good. And... Come on, there it is. How much? Well, $16,000. That's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. We will take it. I can't get out of here, can I? I thought, oh trailer come on use those big old balloon tires just drive right on over it. with that let's get this guy back to the sheep get him parked up and then we will check our prices one more time so all right I have sat in my tractor here all night long and straw is now leveled out at one hundred and thirty three dollars Per thousand liters and milk is at 1987 I think it was a a good choice to wait there we go come on come on there you go now come on there straw let's let's see and done hey money's not going up too bad there's it's thousands are going up anyway this could turn out to be pretty darn good. I think it's going to be more than 10000 Ooh, I am excited. I'm watching money go up. We are down under 150,000 liters, and we are up over $600,000. Holy Toledo, man. I did not expect this much money. So we got almost two hundred grand. I think we did. I think we got over 200 grand. That is crazy money. $205,000 from straw. We need to drop this guy right where he is. Get that out of here. And we need to run over to the cows and let's get that milk sold. Alrighty, so I think there we go. We I went ahead and installed a spigot. You can kind of see it right here that little guy and that works very well because you can fill up and well you can fill up your trough and you can fill up your trailer all at the same time which is very very convenient now we need to get through here see about pulling here and can we oh water what Ugh. hold on I'm gonna do this fruity on this Let's empty that guy. Thank you. Now, am I close enough? Maybe I need my menu. No, I guess I am not close enough. I should be right there. What's the problem? Oh, I wonder if I messed it up because it had water in it. So it messed with it. Ah! Alright, let's get back in here. First person is going to be the easiest way to rock through here. Watch out there, Moo Moo. Turn, turn, turn. Oops, start filling. There it is. 61,000 liters of milk. Very nice. That means we got two trips. You know, I think we're starting to see some profit off of our animals. It is about time. My goodness. To get them to this point, I would have no idea how much money in crop has been used on the cows and the pigs. The sheep, not much. But the cows, oh my goodness gracious. Great horny toads. All right, let's get over to the sale point and let's see about selling us some milk. And here we 
are. Let's go this way up. Oh, oh a little bumpy. A little bumpy. And come on. There it is. Now, what? We had 25,000 liters. I have no idea how much money that should bring us. Well, almost 50. Should be under 50 grand. So we're with two truckloads. We're going to be, should be right around 90 grand, I think, for both of them. Sweet. That's going to put us right about the $700,000 mark or over. That is, uh, that is stellar. It's 49,667. Very nice. I'm in a hurry. We're just going to zip right through here. We've got our skinny tires on. We won't hurt the crop at all. Not at all. Let's go fill it up and do it again. There we go. Let's get in here and get this sold. And I think that's going to put us at about 720 some thousand would be my guess. I try to do math in my head. I should just give that up. I should just stop that nonsense right now. <laughs> give me small numbers. If they're on a tape measure, I can do numbers all day long. All right. I started hearing a noise. Couldn't figure out what it was. It's a big old rainstorm coming through. Real rainstorm coming through. There we go. Sweet. How much money did we make today? Well, that says we made 303000 That's uh, That's pretty good. That is one of the best days that we've had, for sure, without selling a, a equipment. We didn't sell anything, just uh, straw and milk, right? Yeah, because yesterday in game we sold uh, some wool, which was 16 grand, and then we also sold some pigs. I don't even know where the oh the pigs are there. We're not doing that right now. I say stick a fork in us, people. We are done for sure. I thought this was gonna be a, a shorter episode than the previous ones, but waiting on everything to uh, get to the right price will kind of mess that all up. But what are you gonna do? You're gonna just suck it up and deal with it's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> That's all you can do, really. Hey, I want to thank you guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Hope you enjoyed. Be good, everyone. And until next time, see ya!